Hello to you. I'm Jesse R. Johnson. I'll be speaking to you today about propulsion, specifically enclosed propulsion, type 3. Type 3 is enclosed ramp propulsion. First off, the law of conservation of energy, pardon me, the law of conservation of momentum. Momentum is conserved in all physical processes, simple to complex, in bounded and unbounded systems. A bounded system is a system wherein no energy enters or exits the total system. In reality, this is not known to be possible. Some energy enters and or exits the system even in the most microfractions of quantity anyway. Even though a propulsion system is called enclosed, it is not a 100% deal but closer to 97% to 99% enclosed, never 100%. The system is always part of the rest of the universe. This is the reason for this. The, enclo the enclosed propulsion system in this video is enclosed ramp propulsion. The basic idea is to halt the ramp movement and redirect the momentum. Momentum is conserved, but it can also be redirected. The redirection of the moving parts in this system is shown in arrows with arrowheads. The parts themselves are identified with numbers to tell both of them apart. There are 10 main parts and A through U direction arrows. To begin, for this illustration, there are two spheres that are used. The spheres, which are number five, spheres number five, colored in pink here. They are rotated to high speed by the sphere spinner and linear pusher number four. Here's number four. The spinner and linear pusher, this straight part line. Both sides of this system, both sides are identical. Identical, both sides. Now, now this is coupled to and to the electric motors, number nine. Number nine are the electric motors in yellow. Electric motors, one on either side. One on each side of the total vacuumed housing, number eight. This is the total housing, this total thing. This total thing is number eight. The total vacuumed housing, which turns. Now, now th this here turns the spheres, the electric motors, and number four turns the spheres in opposite directions of E and F. Here's E, here's the arrow for E, and here's F. Turns it in opposite directions. The spheres have a specific pattern on their surfaces to produce a specific form and amount of friction in a specific direction. Now, once the spheres reach a specific rotational speed, they are pushed in directions C and D. C and D. And by the sphere spinner, linear pushing number four pushes it along this railing line in this direction, D. That direction, C. Simultaneously, this causes the total vacuum housing, number eight, to not, to not move because motion of this push is in equal and opposite directions of A and B. A and B. The spheres go up the ramp, number six. Number six is the ramp in yellow here. This is the ramp in yellow here. Number six. While spinning, they are spinning while doing this. The ramp is to deflect, deflect and redirect the spheres direction and make them go upward in directions G and H. G and H. From the directions of C and D. 
from these directions into these directions, straight upward. This takes force and therefore makes ramp number six, ramp number six, go downward in direction L with equal and opposite directional force and momentum. Ramp Ramp number six's surface has specific patterns on it, just like the spheres on it, to produce specific types, a specific type and amount of friction. This is to keep the ramp from going downward, the oppo going downward, the opposing forces of the spinning surfaces of the spheres number five on the surface of the ramp produces frictional upward force against the ramp going down and causes it to go up in direction M. Here's direction M right here. Causes it to go upward because of the spin force is this right going upward, going upward. Now to continue. This causes it to cancel its downward direction of L cancels its do downward direction of L. When the spheres reach the tip top, here's the tip top of the ramp, the tip top of the ramp, the ramp is at position F9, F9 is right here, position F9, as though it never moved. Ramp is kept from going astray by its guide rails, number seven. Here are the guide rails, right here which is number seven. Ramp absorbs the sphere's rotational directional energy, J and K, J and K, it's directional energy, rotational directional energy, but does not stop the sphere's linear momentum energy of S and T. S going upward and T going straight upward. Now, the spheres, number five, in pink here, in pink, continue going in direction S and T. Now, the spheres then make contact with the surface of electromagnets, number two. In yellow, this is the electromagnets, number two which creates an inelastic collision. That means they do not bounce away from each other. They stick to each other. Creates an inelastic collision with the spheres by holding them magnetically for a fraction of a second, which force the total vacuum housing, number eight, number eight is the total vacuum housing, the total thing, vacuum housing to move in direction U this direction, direction U, straight up. And then the spheres to shoot pushers, number one, the spheres to shoot pushers, that's this system here, this system here, come on and pushes the spheres in directions Q and R, which is this direction, Q and R, this, this direction, which sends the spheres in direction N and P. N and P down the chute, down the chute, down the chute, into chute number three. Number three. With, which sends N and P and back to sphere, all the way back to the sphere spinner and linear pusher number four, all the way back to number four here, all the way back to number four here. That's where the ball is going, the spheres are going, right down here, right where they began. And the shoot and pusher, and as the balls, pardon me, as the spheres travel, they, they may hit the side of the chute, so therefore you have a number 10, a number 10, which is a chute, the chute padding, number 10, which absorbs energy and vibrations of the spheres when hitting the chute, number 3 is sides. All directional motion, motions, 
or can't cancel each other out except for S, T, and U, which are conserved, but redirected, but uncanceled. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching, and I want everyone to have a good day. Thank you, and have a good day again.